This is probably not good. I'm home. Well, we are here with Greg Nolan, and we're going to take a look at the new Hellboy game coming out uh, from Konami. Um, Greg, what's what's the uh, the basic premise of this new game? It, is it going to follow the movie script that's coming out? This actually does not follow the script for the movie. Uh, what we wanted to do, just quickly, is not create another movie game that just takes random clips from an old movie and puts them into a new game. Um, we felt as if that this game deserved a whole lot more. We actually worked with Mike Mignola really closely on creative direction and uh, Guillermo del Toro, they both did uh, creative input on the game um, and created an all original story for, for the console release. Excellent. Um, can you explain a little bit about what the story is or? Sure. So. Uh, Nazis are taking over the world, and help, of course, right? Yeah. Always Nazis. And uh, it's Hellboy's, uh, it's his job to save the world. That's what he does. That's fair, and you know, no one wants Nazis in your neighborhood. We really wanted to play up Hellboy's strengths, and uh, obviously he's a big guy, he's got a lot of power, and uh, he's got an incredible uh, melee attack um, that's a lot of fun to use. Um, the point in the game was that we wanted to create a game that was uh, great for fans of the, the film and the comic books as well as casual gamers for somebody to come along and just pick up and play. So, you know, the combat elements, um, you know, melee attack, he's got all the weapons that he usually carries, guns with special ammunition uh, for different, uh, different portions of the game, different, uh, different challenges he faces, bosses he faces, and as you progress in the game his abilities change and he grows stronger and uh, gains new abilities. So it's really cool. As you continue to play, it's not the same old game. You know, it evolves as you get further in the game. Right, cool, yeah, I, I, I had a chance to take a quick a quick spin in the game, and I'd like to spend a little more time with it, but um, the combat felt, the controls felt really intuitive. But I, uh, I also noticed that in addition to your, your regular melee attack that, you know, that I had, um, there were context-sensitive um, moves as well, like a, one of these little creepy crawly jerks jumped on my back and then I have to press this combination of buttons to get him off and right. hit his little friends with him. And right. um, Is there going to be a lot of that in the game? There is, you know, um, you know. We wanted to also create a complex game that allowed hardcore gamers the ability to get in there, learn some special moves and abilities, um, and there's, there's lots of different ways to defeat enemies. You know, you can shoot them, you can melee them, you can tear their heads off and kick them across the room. Um, we always love that. You, know, you gotta love tearing heads off, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a lot of different abilities, a lot of different options as far as gameplay and, you know, attacking your enemy. Excellent. Well, I'm, I'm very excited to spend a little more time with this. Thank you very much, Greg. Absolutely. Uh, wait, when does the game come out? The game comes out June 24th. And it's available for Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PSP. And one quick note, the PSP storyline is completely different than the console storyline. So it's almost a completely separate game. Tell me more about this PSP version. What's what's going on there? Is it Nazis still? It's just, it's still a similar story. Like the backstory to the game is the same, but the challenges you face in the game um, very slightly from the console version. What we wanted to do was give people who own a PSP and a PlayStation 3 the ability to have a different game that they take with them so they're not spending you know, 20 hours at home playing a game and then when they take it on the road with them, they are you know, continuing or going back to levels they've already beat at home. So we wanted to give them the opportunity to have a whole new experience and take that with them. Well, that's that's awesome, and that's very considerate of you. Thank you. All right, thanks again, Greg. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you, guys.